Hi there. So we're going to do a little uh, drawing project uh, in uh, SolidWorks. And uh, to do this, we're going to use a, uh, we're going to make this from a, from a small sketch that's been provided. Kind of the same sort of thing that you'd encounter if you were doing drafting um, in many different situations. Planetary, so we should be able to, to make some good progress with it. So we'll start off by uh, uh, opening a new file. And We'll just start a part file here. I'm just using SolidWorks 2009 because uh, that's uh, all I have. I have, um, uh, but you'll find that uh, even the latest versions of, two of SolidWorks work pretty much the same. Just more, a few more features uh, here and there. Now I always like to uh, make uh, good use uh, of the planes of symmetry. And uh, the first thing we can do is uh, just start off on the top plane and we'll start sketching. I'll just go to, uh, since we need a rectangular top, I'll just use a center point rectangle and we'll just sketch in the basic shape of the top of the table and uh, get the dimensions off that table. Uh, we can see it's 64 inches uh, wide and 32 inches, or 64 inches long, 32 inches wide. So we'll get that set up. And let's just get the 64 and the 32 in there so that gets us off to a good start now the next thing we need to do is uh, turn the table into a 3x3 three three, uh, hollow structural section so to do that uh, we need to turn it into a weldment and you're gonna insert weldments structural member and I have the uh, Canadian Institute of Steel Construction Library loaded. Uh, SolidWorks comes with a uh, complete with a whole bunch of different libraries. Uh, one for uh, ANSI or, or American Institute of Steel Construction, CISC, China. but uh, they all basically uh, work the same way. Uh, it's already uh, came up with the square tube for uh, HSS, so I'm just going to look for a three by three, which is uh, because everything in the Canadian system is going to be metric, we'll just pick the closest thing to it. Thickness. I'm going to choose a quarter inch thickness until I find out for sure what uh, what the actual thickness is. And just by picking one of the uh, lines in the sketch, uh, the tube gets inserted on the center line. And if I continue picking lines, I can frame out the whole table and the way it's butt jointed together there is uh, is not very good so we'll just uh, change that by giving it a corner treatment just trying to think how they would uh, probably do it in uh, as a as a welder would probably do it most likely would miter the connections together that seems to be the most common although it, it might be a little different the only thing is i think in dimensioning uh, it might be more convenient if i had the top uh, parallel, uh, actually coincident with uh, with the top plane, so I can always go back in and change that. So let's see if we can edit the feature, and if I pop down here to the locate profile, I can choose a different point. Let's say the top, this point here, the very top. So the top is now coincident with that top plane. Now it should make things uh, a little easier to dimension. Uh, a little later on, and also uh, a little, a little easier in uh, sketching. So there's our tabletop right there.